Hello everyone, Melody here, Mama of Four, in our blended family of six. Welcome to Homeschool Happy Hour, and today we're going to take a look at another, and maybe my last for a little while, history resource, and that is Honest History, a magazine subscription for kids that you can get sent directly to your house. If you wanna hear more about it and take a look on the inside with me, stick with me and let's check it out. Before we go any further, please take a second to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow along as we talk all things homeschool, homeschool life, secular homeschooling, all that cool stuff. On this channel, my goal is to provide you with not just support in homeschooling and knowing that you're not the only secular homeschooler out there, but more importantly, resources and curriculum that you might or might not enjoy. Giving you an inside look at the curriculum options out there, curricula options out there. That is why I started this channel. And all through the last month, I've been sharing different US history resources with you that I have been gathering that different companies have agreed to send me so that I can share with you. And today is our last individual preview. Next week, we will be having a video with a glance at all of the different resources, plus some bonus materials that I didn't take the time to do an in-depth moment at that you might be interested in. So if you're interested in US history, hopefully these videos are helpful to you to help you find the resource that works for you. Disclaimer, I think all history curriculum is imbalanced. It's biased in some way. It's coming from different perspective. However, I feel like some of the newer history curricula out there has really put forth an effort to give us balanced views to the best that they are able. Usually they have a political viewpoint that they're coming from, or they aren't including every single bit of history that could be included. But is that even possible, frankly, in any one curricula? Is that really an option? Because we could spend our entire lives studying history and still just scratch the surface. So finding a history curricula or curriculum is really about what works for you and your family, how deep do you wanna dig, and when do you wanna introduce them? What's your child's learning style? Today's resource is really awesome. I got it sent to me, just one sample. It's actually not just this book. This is just one of their magazines. It is a subscription in which you can subscribe quarterly. You can go through and you can choose which magazine you're interested in, or you can just have them send you whichever ones they're going to send. However you want to do it is fine. When I received this magazine, I had two thoughts. One, why didn't they have this when my kids were little? We would have loved it. It's pretty new and they didn't have it when my kids were little. And two, why didn't I get it sooner even now that they're older? Because I love it, it's fantastic. But before I go into it any further, let's take a look on the inside. Here we take a look at the magazine that came in the mail. It's about standard magazine size, not particularly thick or particularly thin. Sorry that it's not all the way top to bottom. My screen only fits so much. If we open it up, you can see right away their style and illustrations. As always, if you're interested in more, you can go to honesthistory.com and find more information about their company. You can also check them out at Honest History on Instagram. We've got our letter uh, to young historians and the table of contents. Um, as you can see by the cover on this book, this is from the battlefront. So we're talking about World War II in this particular magazine. Each magazine has its own topic, which is kind of cool the way that they put it together. They have an opportunity for their readers to write in and be involved. And then so they have their featured young historians here at the front. And then 
This one in particular, I don't know about the others, I haven't seen others, but this one is two parts. So first we have Welcome to the Atlantic Theater. We've got a map and then your bullet points on what we're talking about. And I wanna show you the whole magazine cover to cover, but it's gonna be hard not to because there's so much good stuff in here. Some things that you probably didn't know about that time period. And then people that you should know. As you can see, right off the bat, we have a couple of women that are being featured, not your standard history from when we were growing up where it was just the same type of people over and over again. A coloring page is involved. And then we have an article about the night witches. So the things that they have in this book are not the things that, like I said, that we read about in our history books when we were growing up. They're not even necessarily the things you'll see in the history books today. They are giving you some cool tidbits from that time period that you may not have heard about. They also have, let's skip forward to the second part. They have a section in the middle where it does give you some major events and people and groups that you should look into further. This particular one has a parental discretion advice because there's some topics that coming coming up that could be challenging for some kids. And so you need to decide for yourself what works for your kids and your family. But I like that they're just giving you a heads up before you get into it. And then the second half of it is welcome to the Pacific Theater and some bullet points about things we would want to know from there, as well as a color coded map to give our kids a visual of who we're talking about and where. Now in this half, there's a couple articles that I thought were really cool. First, they've got an article regarding Desmond Doss. If you didn't know already, there is a movie featuring him as well. Then we've got the Manhattan Project. There's a movie featuring that. And then this movie, I didn't, or not movie, this article, I didn't realize there's also a movie about the USS Indianapolis. And so it was really cool to read through this and then be able to follow it up with a movie. My kids are older. Some of those movies might not be appropriate for your younger kids. You might want to decide whether or not that's right for you. Here we've got a timeline of Pearl Harbor, how that it, how it happened. I'm gonna skip forward. Oh, it does touch on the internment camps in the United States in World War II, which is something that I feel like is often brushed over in history of the United States. I really feel like that's shouldn't just be forgotten or brushed over. And then we get towards the end, more bullet point version of World War II and how it started and how it ended. For those of your kids that want to have more of that bullet point moments. Then in the back, they do have some questions for your kids to answer, to see if they remember, and they have some vocabulary to learn, and then some fun games, word search, maze, a quiz at the end, a comic, and then an opportunity at the back says, we want to hear from you where your child can write in and get involved in the magazine. Now this magazine by itself is priced at $17.95. When I first saw these, magazines. I was very interested in them. I thought maybe the price was a little high for what I'd want for a magazine, but now that I see what's on the inside of this, I absolutely feel like it's worth it. And if I had younger children, would absolutely be getting these for them to enjoy. I hope that inside look was helpful for you. I hope it gave you an idea of whether or not this is something you would like or something that you want to pass on. Either way, you have more information now and I hope that helps you make the decision that works for your family. If you are wanting to check this out, there is a link in my description box below that you can follow to get more about this one. If you have another history curriculum or resource that you want to share, let me know. I'll see if I can get a copy of it so I can share it with you guys. 
uh, once I put out my video for all of them side by side, I'm probably going to be moving on to a new subject. If there's a particular subject you're really wanting to take a look at, let me know and I'll gather some materials on that, whether it's science or math or language arts, and we'll see what we can find that is out there. Otherwise, that is all I have for you guys today and I will catch you next time.